lovely is how is the writing going? I trust it's all going amazingly. For those of you who follow my blog, yeah, I've had like the best two weeks ever. Yeah, like totally. No, it really has been good. You know, I really do love to learn. I love that learning kick, learning kick in the ass. And um, yeah, it really, really has been a good couple of weeks. So I trust wherever you are. So if you've had some learning, growing experiences like I have, or if it's just been going fantastically and you're like, oh my God, I, this is just great. Um, whatever it is, I'm really happy and excited for you. And um, really, really happy to be back doing this. So I have a question from Jackie. Hi Jackie! Um, and it's a long question, so stick with me. So the first bit of the question is, um, how do I keep my horse's head down um, through all of the tests? So um, she said, what happens if any time there's a change, we've got to do a circle or do a transition, either up the gate or down the gate, the head comes up. And yeah, totally, totally normal, all good. Um, <laughs> what it is, is, um, and then you've asked a question which does tie into it about contact. Should I be holding the horse down? Or sometimes he's just got his head down and it feels really, really light. So um, it all kind of intertwines and connects. All, all together. So I really, really love, love that you've asked those kinds of questions. So it, it, it says that you're thinking around it the right way. Um, so when we ride Frisians, what can what can happen is um, everyone goes, oh, they're on the bit, but they're not on the bit. They've just tucked their head in. So we tend to think, yes, the horse should be on the bit and should have this arch neck and its nose should be on the vertical. But that's a result of having the back right. Um, so you can have a horse on the bit, well not on the bit, but looks on the bit, so it's got its head arched and it's got its head tucked in or whatever you want to call it, um, but it's just doing that, it's not actually connected through. So um, yeah, and like you said with the contact, if we kind of use and pull a lot of the contact, we may get the head where it needs to be, but we haven't achieved dressage. We haven't achieved the goal or the outcome or the aim, which is to have the horse through and soft and submissive and 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 into the outside drain. So to me, I don't care where my horse's head is. Um, it really that's that's the last of my concerns um, because I know if I get the hind legs active, if I have the horse forward, if I have him um, through, uh, which means so straight, um, if he's kind of twisted and crooked, like if he's coming, falling in on the shoulder, I've got to straighten all that so the forward can come through, so the hind legs can become active, and that, that means the back will round. So if you just do this with me, round your back, do you see how my head has to come down? It's impossible. So, oh God, do I have enough? <laughs> okay, so I'm going to try and round my back, round. Okay, so I've now rounded my back and put my head up, but it's really, really hard to do and it takes a lot of neurons. Go on, try it. Yaha, it's kind of tricky. Um, <laughs> but if you just naturally round your back, just go ahead without thinking on an unconscious level, round your back. Do you see how the head just naturally comes down? It's the same as the horse. If the horse isn't trying to go, I really want to piss her off and I'm just going to put my head up because I know she hates it. They can't think like that. If you get their body, so you get their hind legs moving and their back round, the head will come down. So don't worry about pulling the head down. Worry about riding the hind legs in the back. It's the same as, um, so I can, I can definitely arch my back, like concave my back and put my head down. That's a lot easier, which is what horses can do. They can go, oh, fine, you're going to pull my head in? Fine, pull my head in. But do you see how I've still got my arched back? It's different to, ah, now I've rounded my back and the horse can be round. So whenever you're working with your horse, I always try and do it with my body physically as well. So I try to go, well, if, if I want this to physically happen with the horse, um, is it possible and, and how does that, all that work? So I trust that's helped. So step one, how do I get my horse round through the test or keep it round through the test? Stop focusing on the head, focus on, on the hind legs. And I've, I've had that drummed into me for a long time. And it's, 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 it's a challenge because as a rider, we only see neck to head up with our visual eyes. Okay, fine, we can see the stomach, like the ribs, if we bend like this. And we have to do all of that to look at the hind, which is a, we don't ride doing that. Well, you might, good for you. <laughs> but we only see this, so we tend to become really focused and fixated on this. Um, which is where we get into trouble. So it's always like, yeah, okay, I know the head's there, but don't pull it in or do anything there. Work what's underneath you. Work what's under your seat. Work those hind legs. Work behind you. 
Um, and that is where all the connection and, and all the great work will start to happen. Yes, when the horse moves its head and when you change direction or when you change a transition, it's the same thing. He, he just goes, this is a little bit harder, so I'm going to concave my back. So rather than go, oh, I'm going to tuck his head in, tuck his head in, go, okay, he needs to learn to do transitions round and through and over his back. And that takes time and practice. Um, I think that's answered everything. Um, uh, with the contact, yes, um, contact is really challenging. Uh, it took me six years of just incredible crying all the time. Um, <laughs> it's really fun, trust me. No, like it's, it's, it's very hard. So I can have a contact and I can go and I can push into your hand really, really hard or I can have the lightest contact ever. But I, do you see I still have contact with my hand? So contact doesn't mean heavy and then off. It just means degrees of, of, of handling the connection. And my best way of thinking of it is, well, what's your connection when you hold a glass? If you hold the glass too tight, it will shatter. If you hold it too loose, the glass will break. So that you, you learn and develop a feel for how much pressure to use on the glass to keep it in your hand without causing any of those other two outcomes. It's the same as the horse. Sometimes you will have to use more pressure. It's like, hey, hello. You know, you see my shoulder, my bicep, my, my elbow, everything tenses and says, hey, 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 and my wrist and my fingers. Um, but it's just Bleh! and a release and then everything's soft and flowing again. You can't ride a horse with tight hands. You can't ride a horse with, uh, with force or with strength. Yes, there will be times where you have to use strength, but it's in, a, it's, a, it's in a moment and then there's that softness and release. So the horse can come soft and into itself and into its back and be round over its back. Trust that helps. I know it's not, not the, it's like, ah, it, it, it won't fix that straight away. It just gives you more tools um, in your toolbox and more things to think about when you're riding. Like I said, it took me six years, so I wish I could just answer it in a five minute touch TV and you would all go out and have amazing contact and be fabulous. And maybe you will. And yay! Um, but and I'm just trying to give you some more things to think about. So forget the head, work the hind end, get the back round, figure out what's happening under your seat. You'll feel when that back comes up. Start to get to develop more of a feel when that back comes. Trust me, when the back comes, the head follows, and that's when you, you said sometimes you have the contact where the head's down and it's completely light in your hands. Yes, that's it. So keep searching for those moments. And when you don't have it, just go, okay, how did I create that moment? How did I create that moment when that back was up and the contact was soft? <gasps> Yay, so have fun practicing. I love you all. And remember, if you have a question, go to www.yourridingsuccess.com um, and click on the Tash TV and I'm happy to answer your questions.